one thing that we see happening after body valuation uh, assessments is that uh, we see some uh, board members uh, needing to understand further the need for compliance or the need for risk management or understand how to better read uh, financial reports and uh, understand numbers. So there are some training needs anticipated and coming out of this process uh, that uh, need to be addressed by the board and the chair, of course. Uh, also, there are other needs in leadership or uh, if we do, let's say, a personal assessment of the competency-based assessment of the board members, we also find needs in leadership development or, uh, let's say, in communication areas that also might need to be addressed by the, by the chair and the board. So it is a, a process that, uh, I would not say always, but usually might lead to some areas uh, for uh, training. The most imminent one might be the risk management and the compliance, and recently we can also see the ESG as one area that uh, the board members need to get some training on.